So we've got a state representative in Mississippi by the name of Gene Alley. He's a Republican, and boy, is he going to show it to you. He's talking to Clarion Ledger, and he says some curious things about African Americans. Uh, Alde said that he comes from, quote, a, a town where all the blacks are getting food stamps and what I call welfare crazy checks. They don't work. He's referring to, of course, the African Americans in his town. Well, he thinks they don't work, period, blanket state. And they're all getting crazy welfare checks, uh, and they're all on food stamps. Interesting. Now, the reality, of course, is that the number one county in the country that's getting food stamps is over 99% white. That's in Kentucky. But nonetheless, this guy's not deterred by facts. Uh, he also had things to say about the hospital and the emergency room. He said, I like to die. I don't know what that means. He said, I laid in there for hours because they black people. <laughs> no, wait, the black people is in parentheses. He said, because they, referring to black people, were in there being treated for gunshots. So they're all getting either crazy welfare checks or they're all in shootouts and, and at the local hospital. Okay. So now, obviously, got in a little bit of trouble for this. They seem like if we we're being incredibly generous, uh, oversimplifications, uh, stereotypes, um, and if we're being ungenerous, completely and utterly racist. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, when confronted uh, with that idea, including by Republicans in the state, saying, hey, what are you doing, man? This is, whoa, 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 we're not on this guy's team, right? Of course, what they really mean is, we're not on this guy's team publicly. So, uh, he clarified to the Mississippi News Now, uh, I am definitely not a racist at all. Oh, man, why did you say that from the beginning? I didn't know that. Here I was thinking you were racist because you think none of the black people work and they're all in the hospital because they were all in gunfights. Okay. Uh, he said, because, I mean, I get along with, with everybody. And I've spent a lot of time helping people. This guy's a helper. I didn't know it. <laughs> you see that? All this time he's been helping folks and you misunderstood it as racism. Okay. He says, the interview, he just took me out of context. Uh, he asked me, uh, he asked for one thing and started asking another thing. Now, we gave you the quotes. What part of that is out of context? Uh, what so he started asking about something and you started saying blacks don't work at all. He started asking about something else and then you say they're all in the hospital because they're all in gunfights. Help me out with that context. How does context make that better? Now, of course, given ample opportunity to provide the proper context, shockingly, uh, the good representative uh, didn't have any further context. Okay. Um, he says, Mitchell asked me a question uh, back to when I was in law enforcement. Oh, great. This guy was in law enforcement. Sure, the African Americans in Mississippi are thrilled to hear that that's how uh, things went down uh, when he was on his watch and what was going through his head. He says, I have a way of talking and saying, take this off the record. Whoa, wait a minute now. Earlier you were saying you were taken out of context. Now you're saying it actually was in the right context, I just didn't want it to be on the record. You see, I was being racist off the record, and the guy accidentally quoted me. I got bad news for you, that doesn't really make it better, okay? But I'm given to understand he has a way of talking. I'm sure he does, okay. Finally, uh, here's his uh, last piece of excuse. Let's see if this works. He says, yes, it's true that most of the blacks in my hometown are on welfare. But they're good people. I don't have anything against anybody. I'm a straight up guy. I'm in my little town. Uh, they had a little civil rights walk, and I was with them. I'm with everybody. <laughs> How do you like that for a politician? I mean, what I said sounds horribly racist, but on the other hand, I'm with everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. And I love that part where he says, in my little town, they had a little civil rights walk, and I was with them. Wait, does that mean you walked with them, or does that mean that you were looking out the window going, yeah, I mean, I guess, I, yeah, sure, I'm with them. Really? You were, you were part of that civil rights parade? Okay, yeah, I'd like to see pictures of that. But anyway, you slice it. I'm not overly convinced that this guy really believes that African Americans um, are the same as perhaps his white constituents. He seems to have different conclusions about them, and conclusions, by the way, not based in reality. Because in reality, uh, white people in uh, the country ha take more food stamps than black people do. And um, 
I'm pretty sure there's a lot of white folks in Mississippi that also have guns and might wind up in the emergency room. All right, I guess now his political career is in the emergency room. I'd say good luck to you, uh, State Representative Alday, but I wouldn't really mean it.